Hey everybody, Team Wilpers, this is the Frosty Block and 2023 Recap Athlete Briefing. I'm Coach Greg Wagoner, if you don't meet, know me yet. Uh, a lot of new folks have signed up recently, so maybe you're catching me for the first time. Welcome, everybody's welcome here. I am uh, thrilled to, to be coach of this this big training training group, so uh, thanks everybody for, for joining. What a year, man. Uh, Wow, where do I even start? Well, I've got some notes here to, to help me. But uh, let's go back, right? The beginning of this year, you were just, just getting to, we were all just getting to know each other and starting these these training um, training challenges. Uh, and, and you won't hear me say that word too often. They, they, I like to call them training blocks because we put blocks together and we make a foundation and we build and we build and we build and we put together a whole plan. So uh, we did the beta cycling blocks in the beginning where uh where we had a lot of different options and we were just getting our feet wet big group coaching we did uh we did peloton blocks and uh we moved on in a lot of different topics we talked about periodization we did peaking for events uh we're looking at different metrics maybe maybe looking at heart rate or maybe looking at segments looking moving beyond ftp right uh, hopefully, hopefully that was helpful. So, uh, how about the athlete spotlights? The athlete spotlights have been awesome. Oh my gosh. How fun to get to know some of you all in. And the consistency winners. Um, in fact, actually the consistency winners for week three of the frosty block are Susan Wolf and Misky Hoika. So you guys, congratulations. Awesome job being consistent. And if you get an email from anybody that looks like they are from Team Wilpers, go ahead and give them your address and they'll send you some some swag, a hat, some rubber bands. I'm not sure what it is, but awesome job. Con congrats on that. And uh, what else did we do this year? We, uh, oh, we brought the timers, right? Moving you away from the, the, the <laughs> well, the, the, you don't have to watch a class in order to, to do a workout. So the timers are there. And all this stuff is in the Facebook group, okay? If you're if you're just joining here, you take a look through, and I'm sure the others, the other veterans will help you get caught up on all of these things. The timers, though, uh, and actually I did did load up some timers for for next week, the the off week between training blocks, and uh, if you need to blow off some steam, this is your week, all right? We're in the middle of a endurance based training and and uh to be honest january is going to be kind of below threshold awesome doesn't also doesn't mean you're not going to work hard but uh we are are training with purpose and so rather than three hard weeks and then one recovery week we kind of have gone three sub threshold weeks and then next week if you follow the timers you will experience a little bit of spice not too crazy but monday uh, if you do it on Monday as a crisscross ride and a nod to to all of the team at Training Peaks and and uh, the coaches over there, I think this ride is is borrowed from from them. Uh, crisscross on Monday has some five zone five thirty second bursts with two minutes of sweet spot in between, uh, followed by two five minute zone five intervals. So kind of a kind of a spicy ride that one on Monday if you follow the timer should like it and then uh wednesday i'm bringing sweet spot for 20 minutes okay it's written out all the timer it is 20 minutes of uh of sweet spot and hang on my headphones are switching back and forth to my daughter's ipad if she can hear me she needs to move to another room please so that my airpads so that my airpods can work all right thank you <laughs> all right uh never mind that uh, sweet spot on Wednesday, you could test your limits. Okay, there's a 20 minute sweet spot interval where you do it at sweet spot, or you could do, dare I say it, an FTP test. You could do 20 minutes, and if you think it's right for you, go ahead and go for it. Test your limits on that day. Well, let me know how it goes. If it makes sense, it's not at all a requirement. Okay, cool. Uh, Thursday, there is. Uh, well, uh, let's go on to, to Saturday because Monday, Thursday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday are the, are the, uh, the key rides. So Saturday would be a, a longer 90-minute ride 
and uh, there is 40 minutes at 75% of, of FTP and 30 minutes at 85% of FTP. And uh, the rides on then on Thursday and Sunday are based off of PZE rides with 80% for zone 3 and 70% at, uh, at zone 2. So you can follow those timers. You can play any class you want. I don't know what classes they come from. The key rides do not come from classes. Those are uh, those are, have landed as as my own creations. All right, this Saturday though uh, is a little bit different. This Saturday we're still in the frosty block, but our good friend Linda Marie has challenged, quote unquote, invited us all to uh, to do Matt's tw 120 minutes, so his two hour ride. And uh, if y'all are down for that, I love that she put it out there. Go for it. Um, Mark your Saturday box after doing the two hour two hour ride. You no need to double up and do the the ride that's there as well. Just do the two hour. I think that's awesome. If you're up for it, go for it. If not, follow the ride that's there. That's that's awesome. Um, so thank you, Linda, for for inviting everybody to. I think Matt invited everybody first to do it before the year's end, and uh, Linda is just carrying out orders. So good soldier. All right. Um, so we've done next week's timers, which are not part of any, any official training block, but just if you want to. Uh, we've done this Saturday, and this morning I posted a topic. Every week I, I post a weekly topic, and they do have some relevance, uh, strength, mental health. And this one is reflect on, well, reflect on the frosty block, but reflect on 2023 training. And we got some really good answers, so... Um, I ask all my private clients to reflect on more than just training. I ask them to reflect on life and family and job and stress and happiness and success. And, and we get into a whole old discussion. So I was hoping that that would kind of happen in the, in the Facebook group. And it looks like it has. But I'm going to give you some, some more things to add to it. But let's go through what we did get, which was really great. I, I love putting up the weekly topic and you all jump right in and start hashing it out and and getting some good content there so uh well tra training i asked about training first because maybe after consistent sleep it, more than anything training relates to fitness and health and mental health and longevity and any other keywords that that are out there so training is pretty important i think to all of us who are here and watching this and in this on this team so what has worked and what needs improvement is what I asked. Here's what we got. May, Sakharov, having a schedule. Right, awesome answer. Uh, Mauro Caruzzi, and I really hope I don't screw up with the names, but I did pretty good scheduling all my workouts early in the morning. And I think she said that uh, she just needs to wake up <laughs> for those morning scheduled workouts now. So uh, yeah, there's always tomorrow. Vicky Gannon, taking the FTP and getting started with the Frosty Block. Today is always a good day to start or start again. And those are my words. Yeah, uh, get started. You don't have to do the whole year. You got started right here in the last little training block that we have. That was a good one to get started on. So uh, good job with that. Uh, Janice Phelps, here's what worked. Whiteboard, four-month calendar with planned workout schedule in green and actual results in red. I can just imagine that uh, sitting on a wall next to your bike and you're writing it out and you give yourself credit in red, old school, nothing technical, no computer, anything. I love that. Uh, Janice, you might get the shout out, shout out cap I'm going to put in for it. I, I love it. That's, that's cool. Um, take a picture, po post up a picture of your, of your whiteboard, please. If, if you don't mind, if there's nothing personal on there. All right. Meredith Pascara was more consistent this year, but no real plan. Well, uh, stick around here. I, 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 we have an awesome plan for you uh, going forward. So um, I'm excited about it, if I haven't mentioned that before. Okay, Shannon Douglas, learning that something is better than nothing. Yeah, I mean, life happens sometimes. You can't do everything perfectly just because a plan is laid out. And if you can do part of it, that's going to be better than nothing. Absolutely good realization. Katie Van Alstein, finding structure in the training with Peloton. First you got your bike and then you found Team, team Mopers Cycling and this team. And so yeah, you're uh, finding structure. That's awesome. <coughs> Good reflection. 
All right, Kay, I have two more of uh, my, my private clients. Natalie Hernandez wrote that I've been doing private coaching with Greg Wagoner for three plus years now, which is why I've been so successful every year. He gets me ready, not just with my training blocks, but the race prep and mental prep. Natalie is awesome, and thank you so much for the shout out. And yes, uh, she and I are a good team. Thank you for letting me be a little part of your of your successes. And Erica Ramos, shout out for shouting me out in the post. Thank you for your for your read. And um, everybody, go back to that post and read through what everybody said as far as what worked and what didn't work. And after you read them, put down your own, please. Uh, like everyone that, that did post and add to it. This is a really good conversation for a team to have, okay? I learned a lot from, from just reading the, the ones that are there. Most have to do with uh, consistency and scheduling and being organized. Who doesn't like to feel organized, having everything in its place and the time and the schedule? Just works better for us, I think. Uh, but you all have to figure out what that means for you, okay? Individuality is 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 real all right you got to figure out what works for you and your schedule in your life so take a look at that post uh one more time and figure out what needs improvement and put yours down please comment so as far as following a plan we we give an awesome plan um but you still have to do some some individual decisions you have some individual decisions to make okay a coaching let's go coaching versus training uh, or coaching versus a training plan, following a plan, okay? In my mind, uh, coaching is going to take you beyond a plan. Anyone can follow a plan, but I, as coach, I'm going to challenge you about what you do with the other 23 hours of the day that you're not training, and that's what can make a huge difference. So I asked about the training reflections, but now that you've thought about it or take the next couple days, think about it and add in the others, life family, job, overall health, fitness, stress, happiness, what makes success and happiness. And uh, I bet you'll see that they all relate. So, uh, all right. Well, my own training reflects reflections. I am super appreciative of you all and the team to help me feel accountable. I was able to spend another year with uh, cycling as my main training mode, and I was able to feel uh, like I could train for and execute a couple of competitions. I was able to do it with the support of my wife and my daughter, because there's nothing better than having them at the finish line of, of a race, or even just having the support saying, have a good time when I'm going out to for a training ride, rather than hurry up and get back. It's, it's a lot better, so keeping that balance is important. I feel like I've done it. Um, I don't need to go too much farther beyond that uh, as I reflect. Like, I don't need to sign up for more races or do more stuff. I've done that in the past, but I do need to keep my health and my fitness. And uh, doing it in a fun way, like riding bikes, is is what it's all about. So maybe some more mountain biking, you know, where I ride. I, I don't think I need to spend more time or do more uh, big events or anything like that. But meeting more people would would be a goal for me next year and i look forward to doing that um look forward to meeting more of you all in person and so i do plan to be at the lehigh hincapi fondo this year i believe it's in uh in may sounds right may uh, i think some of you will be there already and this is motivating to me because if our friend uh matt w shows up you know i secretly really just want to finish ahead of him so if any of you all want to work together with me hit me up and we'll get a plan to to work together and make sure we come in just a little bit ahead of matt that would be fun all right just kidding matt uh is super fun to ride with and uh he and i were actually on a call just yesterday with all of the fit coaches, okay? All three fit coaches. If you don't know them, they are awesome. And we're working on how they can be more involved with the team coaching and how we can bring awesome coaching to a big number of athletes for next year. So if I haven't said it before, I'm super excited about 2024. Um, I hope you are too. Okay, that's it. That's the Frosty Block done. 2023 almost done finish out with a bang with the timers and thank you everyone for helping me be able to do what i love doing for a living for another year and i will see you all soon all right 
Thank you. See ya.